I think we can do a special offer for you, sir. Hook Coast? Nobody goes there. Nobody comes from there. Sir, we were all pleased to hear Lady Grey has taken on a hero as a husband. The mayor seems strangely subdued lately. Never seen her like this before. What did you say to her? You have your second one. Your shirt finds something to suit you. You're sure to find something to suit you. Hook Coast? Nobody goes there. Nobody comes from this there. This went to a... The beard looks good, by the way. Oh, he's really nice to his wife. Hello. Look who it is. We better get moving now you're finally here. The executioner don't like to be kept waiting. Oh, no. Keep your eyes peeled. This scum's bandit friends might try and free him on the way up the hill. Wouldn't be the first time, I can tell you. Oh, yeah, and don't get no funny ideas. The only one who's going to be slicing this man's head off is the executioner himself. Hey, Monty, I've got a good feeling about getting this one axed today. Shoom. You reckon? Don't know. Last few tries was a mess. Took a day to clean up all the body parts. True, true, but then the guards on this job last time didn't have a hero at their side. Now, did they?
protect the prisoner. All right, let's go. There'll be a few of them in that house over there. <laughs> a few? It'll be an army pig. Get ready to squeal. He's a cocky bugger, ain't he? You'd think imminent beheading would humble a man. Scorm's teeth, bandits! I'm in that old windmill too. All right, let's go. I like the windmill. Never did anyone any harm. Might do in a minute if you start spitting out bloody bandits. Scorm's teeth, bandits! Chief, bandit! <laughs> Last one always gets killed. We'll go through first, eh? Won't give up, will they? There'll be a few of them in that house over there. <laughs> a few? It'll be an army pig. Get ready to squeal. He's a cocky bugger, ain't he? You'd think imminent beheading would humble a man. I bet there's a few of them in that old wind. Don't just stand there. Fight! I like the windmill. Never did anyone any harm. Might do in a minute. Who's not spitting out bloody bandits?
Scorms, Chief! Bandit! He's there. All right, let's go. Let's let us go through first, eh? How's things looking up the front, Flint? All clear for now, Monty. But my guts tell me we're not done yet. Oh, I wish your guts would shut the hell up. To Get the them! execution! For free! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise if we had a welcoming party waiting at the tree. got the power, so I've got the gap.
just looking around. I'm looking for someone to take... I'll pay. Here's it. Just took... Oh, you'll t use when we get if you want. Oh, but try. Yeah. Yeah. Follow. I'm right with you. <sighs> Not so fast, please. I can't run as quickly as you can. you're looking for have taken hostages. They ran into Greatwood. Maybe you can catch them. Good luck. I'll wait here and send more help if I can. We've heard there's a hero after us and we'll never get the ransom for these two if he catches us. We'd better scarper. Let's split up. Bob, you head off to Fisher Creek with that one. Me and Rab will head towards Greatwood Lake with the other. We'll leave a few lads to take care of him. Let's go. So fast, please. I can't run as quickly as you can. I'm running out of breath. This fellow keeps threatening me. Do something. Cat 
though. You are... Thank you for rescuing me, hero. But the bandit leader and his deputy still have my sister. I overheard the bandits say they were taking her through Greatwood Lake. Head that way to catch them. I'm going back to Bowerstone where it's safe. Yeah! Oh, yes. Thank you. Follow. Ah, yes, we're right on track. Right, not until... Again, hero. I'm off to Bowerstone now to find my relatives. I hope they're safely home in one piece. Please accept this reward. Just back from Barrowstone. Ever seen the mayor? Oh, she's quite the looker, all right. Slow down. I can't keep up. I am 
Do you know, I met that lovely wandering minstrel fellow recently. Yeah, nice chap. Can't sing to save his life, though. Well, we're finally here. Right. I tell you, Master, we are so lucky. Ah, it's you. It's the hero who protected us from those bandits, remember? But these are not happy times. My mother was murdered not long ago. Her grave is by the side of the farm, and I know it sounds ridiculous, but I, I swear I've seen her ghost there. And it's all because of me. She was killed on her way to our anniversary party. I can't bear to see her restless spirit. Would you go to her grave and see if she's still there? You've helped us before. Won't you help us again? I'll pay you what I can. Thank you. Anything you can do will be a great help. Leader amongst Hooray! me. Ooh! Hello there, my dear. Oh, don't be scared, my boy. I might be dead, but I'm still just an old lady. It's a sad tale, really. I was on my way to give Isaiah, that's my son, a necklace for his wedding anniversary, you see. Then, just by Greatwood Lake, a bandit attacked me from out of nowhere. Stabbed me in the chest three times, he did. And took the necklace, too. If you could get the necklace to my son, I might be able to rest in peace. It was a family heirloom. Been with us generations. Do you like my grave, by the way? <laughs> it's rather tasteful, don't you think? Ah, uh, your lordship, we are blessed. I've heard a lot. Killed me right here. Hurt like hell, I can tell you. I think he came from that path. The one going up to the waterfalls. In fact, I think I see someone there now. It's him. That's the little beast. Get him! So much. Take this necklace to my son Isaiah, and I will be able to rest at last. The necklace! Ooh. How can I ever thank you? Please, take this gold with my thanks. I'm afraid it's all I can offer. Please, let my mother know I've received it. Maybe her soul can find peace then. Hooray! Oh, I've never seen anything like this. You gave the necklace to my son. Oh, how lovely of you. If I still had my lips, I'd kiss you. The worms ate them, though. Ah, at last I can take that nap. <laughs> Goodbye, dearie. 
Tell you, Master, we are so lucky. We are blessed. This is the deal. You perform an act of great evil in my sight, and I'll pop open. That was wicked, literally. Come on, dive through. So lucky.
Yeah, you show him. Block the way to all but the most combat hardened. If you request, my guardians will test your metal in combat. Meet their challenge, and the reward I hide is yours. I see you are ready for your test. Very well, guardians, attack! <laughs> You defeated my guardians. I am knackered. Go on, get yourself through. So the guild thought I needed some help, did they? What do they think, that I'm some sort of damsel in distress? Well, you might as well make yourself useful now you're here. I've been studying an ancient shrine we found buried in the swamp, but the whole area just got busy with minions. Looks like they're using it for some kind of whacked out ceremony, whatever it is. It can't be good news. Help me get rid of the ones guarding the shrine and maybe I can get close enough to disable it.
The minions must have been using the shrine to summon this... whatever the hell it is. I know a way of sealing the portal and making sure that thing never appears. But the invocation was written in Old Kingdom speak, so this could take a while. And it looks like we have company. Keep those minions away from me while I recite the incantation. Restinie la madin yuhin cantheri endemus. Restarkalus in Paraxis Zanibe. and Tintu Caucus Benkinarchus Artacatorium. The incantation worked! The portal's closed! Let's just hope the seal holds. That was some impressive minion slaying, by the way. You can fight by my side anytime. Now I'd better get back to the guild and figure out what that thing was. Someone from the guild would come and... But I'm forgetting my manners. My name is Madame Minch. Welcome to the famous Darkwood Bordello. Please, walk with me. As you can see, the Bordello is a haven of calm and pleasure in a perilous world. Weapons and spells are forbidden here. Men have come here for centuries to escape their worries and responsibilities. But, well, we've got problems of our own. Mr. Grobe, the current owner, he's what you might call a cruel, sadistic, self-absorbed despot. He treats the girls like slaves, little better than animals. Most of them have nowhere else to go, of course. If only we could find the Bordello Deeds. 
but I'm sure you don't want to hear all this. Please, enjoy your stay. Lady. It's a hard life being a stone door. You know when I last had a physical relationship? No? Try never. So I've decided to live vicariously. Now I only open to men of the world. And I'm afraid you haven't even left the house yet. Come back when you're a real star. Serene. Hooray! That's my yes. man! Oh, welcome, valued customer. The name's Grope, and these here ladies belong to me. We are the finest entertainers in all Albion and cater to a wide variety of uh, <laughs> specialist tastes. <laughs> So long as you got the gold, you can sample as many wares as you like. And if any of them cause trouble, you be sure to let me know. One last thing. Watch out for old Madame over there. She's after the deeds to this place, and she'll try any dirty trick to get them. Oh, her massive red hair used to drive me wild when she was younger. But she's got all the sex appeal of a dead pig these days. So instead of making me spill my secrets in the bed, she's been trying to get me drunk. I nearly fell for it once, but she won't catch me again. I'm the boss, and that's the way it stays. But listen to me prattling on. <laughs> These are my problems, yes. <laughs> go on, go. Wow! Hooray! Well, hello there, hero. My name is Amelia, and I think I know exactly what you're looking for. All I need is the chance to show you. Don't worry. You'll see I'm worth every one of those 100 gold pieces. All paid up, I hope. We'll go ahead then. We've only got one bed, you know. Feels good. Again, again! What are you... Oh! You look like you enjoyed that. Anytime you want a second taste, come and find me. Come hey! on up the pace. 
Money, money, money. Get him in and out, quick. Welcome, hero. I am Lucretia. If you are looking for something a little more exotic, you will find... Do I see a flicker of interest? You made the right decision. I just hope you can keep up with me. Sir, I am Lady Sophia. I am here to entertain our more upmarket clients. I am not inexpensive, but you will find me most uncommon. I am the best. You'll be treated like a hero deserves to be. Come this way, sir. Take me with you. Ooh, so this is... Nice work. <laughs> Me, Mistress Hedvig, your little puny man. Do what Hedvig say. But first, you pay Hedvig 2,000 gold, yeah? This way, puny worm. You no stop until Hedvig say stop. You call yourself men? This not good enough! Yes! Better! Hedvig pleased with puny man. <laughs> this is good thing. Hooray! That's it, call Yay! yourself Malevin. Ready to help? as quite the operator, my good man. But you haven't yet plumbed the depths of debauchery and depravity. Wonderful to see Hello, love. I'm Polly. Used to call me Pretty Polly, and now it's just Polly. A wild ride with me will only cost you 50 gold. Cheap at twice the price. What do you think? So you say. Hooray! Push those bras up. Show off the wares, my loves. Yay! Woo! Hooray! You need more. You made the. You need more. You made the. You need m You made the You need more You made the right You need more You made the Something about your bedroom antics. I mean, but I need to know you're a real bed.
You have yourself I a think nice we can day. do a special offer for you, sir. Archaeologist has been taken. Give me some beer. A nice drink work. for me, please. Ooh, I think a beer. Ready to help. Scallywags trade between the shops to earn themselves gold, you know. Look sexy. I don't care if you're tired of standing up. Hmm. Don't worry. It isn't what it used to be. I can't recognize my own girls half the time. Yeah! A media, purse those lips. Well, well, well. Aren't you the master in the art of love? I only have one question. What's it like?
Wait, wait. Uh, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm so in love with Maleficus. Hooray! What a man. Ah, oh, lovely ice cold beer. You're a good. Hooray! Ah, oh, another beer. Just what I want. Yeah. And another beer. <laughs> That's the stuff. No. Hooray! As I oh, how many is this? Four? Ha! <laughs> I haven't felt this good in years. You are the best customer I have ever had, sir. Six. Mighty Apple. I never feel too well. I think I'm heading upstairs for a nap, my good. Oh, 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 it's oh. you, boss. Everything all right? I uh, uh, think I've had a few too many. Better get you to bed. Sleep it off. Can you manage him, hero? All right then. In you go. Steal the bordello from under my nose, do. Well, it, you won't get far uh, without the deeds. Uh, oh, and I've got those in the safe place. Uh, uh. Drunk me a whole keg of ale. I just hope I wasn't talking in my sleep again. The deeds. Does that mean we're finally rid of old Grump? Oh, this is wonderful. What? Huh? How did you find it? It was perfectly hidden. This place meant everything to me. And now you've ruined it. Why, if you weren't quite such an imposing hero, I'd show you a thing or two. Well, I hope it rots and drops off. Well, I suppose that makes you the new proprietor, then. You Hedvig always makes more gold. Men go away. You want me to show you how? You not take advantage of Hedvig. I would not allow that filthy grope to touch me. But I don't suppose I can stop you. I might have fallen for a hero like you anyway, if things had been different. Shall we go upstairs? I am surprised you didn't want to try me for yourself. Perhaps you are a man of real character. Hello, sir. I've been speaking with the girls and... Well, we've had enough of this life. And now that old Grope is gone, I know it's a lot to ask, but perhaps you would consider turning this house into a refuge for fallen women? I see. The gold is more important to you than the lives of some poor women. I am... Like that. Ever this will 
Pleased to serve you. They say in the book post that Jack of Blades has returned. We can do a special offer for you, sir. Wonderful. We think we can do a special offer for you, sir. You need to get to the Kallis Gate in the middle of Darkwood. The gate will only open when its hunger for undead souls is sated. Enjoy yourself.
Lucas. magical barrier wasn't there before. It explains what I just found in the guild. Meet me in Maze's quarters. I found a book that may help. I have a quest card from your mother. Quickly, come to the map room and speak to me. This is terrible. Jack has captured your mother again. I spoke to her briefly today. She told me about the sword and the existence of a key to unlock it. Jack can never be allowed to succeed. You must stop him getting the key from Hook Coast. There is a quest card for you, but if you choose to take it, you will forsake your other tasks. This is too important. Good. Now quickly, give me the Thaumaturgica. When you approach the barrier to Hook Coast Abbey, I shall contact you on your guild seal. If I read from the correct...
passage. It should disable the barrier. Now go. You've received a new quest card. We've got to get out of here! It's after us! No! We're all gonna die! Toro necusar arm en oxis usum. El es toro necusar arm en oxis usum. Eretore. You're alive. Yes, I. I was worried when you disappeared. Your sister. I know. I had to tie her up. Jack is controlling her somehow. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to stop him. He's lying. He's the one working for Jack. No, she's trying to confuse you. She's... There is really no time for this, old wizard. Finish the ritual maze. I'd like my key now. It's almost over, and it will be easier with the boy here. So, you escaped my little cage. I'm surprised it took you so long. I trust you didn't lose too much of that precious blood of yours getting out. The Septimal Key. You've hidden from me far too long. Take our two blood bags to the chamber. I shall be there soon. Surprised? You shouldn't be. Only an idiot would oppose Jack. You can't win, boy. The world belongs to Jack now. I... I was a fool to have a 
think you could defeat Jack? That's right, boy. I was there when you were uh. was wrong. Maybe you are strong enough to defeat Jack. <coughs> you haven't got much time. He's using the key to activate the focus sights all over Albion. Then the sword will be his, and it'll be too late. They'll be trying to stop him. None of them can. Oh. You want to know why I did it, don't you? I suppose I'm just an old coward boy. We don't all embrace death. Easily. For some of us, the quest... The only quest is to escape death. 
whatever the cost. And it looks like I failed. Hero, I must see you at the guild. Special offer for you, sir. Remember, goods are cheaper when a shop is a lot in stock. That's my man! You're back. Things are far worse than I'd feared. Maze's betrayal surprised us all, but we have larger problems. Jack is trying to activate the ancient focus sites across Albion. You must stop him at all costs. I will explain more over your guild seal. Now, step through the Kallis Gate. You've received a new quest card. Jack has to be stopped. He's activating those rocks. Always thought they were damn ugly things. I don't want to die for them either. I guess we'll just have to kill them first. Come on, follow the path and turn right. Oh, my God. 
It seems you've mastered using the combat mode. is at the Hob Cave Focus site. This is not the place. But we have unfinished business. We have killed many of those creatures. But they can't go too much longer. Oh, Jack's performing some kind of ritual in the center of the castle. I'll help you get there. Making this much of a challenge. And now your flesh and blood is waiting for me. Damn him. We're too late. He must be at Headsman's Hill. That's where everyone else was heading. You better go after him. I'm exhausted. I need to find somewhere to rest. has made it to the Gibbet Hill focus site. He must be stopped. 
I hope there is still some blood left in those hard old veins. But look, here comes a fresh supply. Are you ready to see the guild burn, hero? Stop him! Activated them all. You must get to the Chamber of Fate in the Guild. You've received a new quest card. There's nothing we could do. He has power like none I've ever seen. And he has your mother and sister too. If either of them dies, Avo will help us all. Stop him, lad. For all our sakes, stop him. What a touching family reunion. The mother, the son, the daughter, and the sword. There's only one thing. <laughs> it's your blood next. Then I will make this world burn.
And now comes the choice I spoke of so long ago. Strike me down now with the Sword of Aeons, and you will become as powerful as Jack dreamt of being. Cast it into the Vortex, and its darkness will be gone forever. So what will you do, little brother? both where they belong now. Lost forever. It's time I found where I belong. I know it isn't here. The hero had triumphed over Jack of Blades and forsaken the dark power of the sword. When he stepped outside into daylight, the crowds cheered his name. He walked among them as a legend. As the months passed, the guild and its people would recover. Walls would be rebuilt and order restored. For Teresa, it would not be so easy. She retreated to distant lands where a lifetime of wounds might be allowed to heal. A whole year passed. With Jack gone, Albion returned to something approaching peace, and for once, the greatest of all heroes was able to rest. Hero, I'm sorry to disturb you, but we're receiving a message from Scythe, one of our oldest heroes. He left the guild for the Northern Wastes long ago, but now... Perhaps it would be best if you came to the boasting platform outside the guild and saw for yourself. <laughs> 